kiddos, how are you this morning? Some of you are starting school tomorrow morning, aren't you? That's pretty exciting. A brand new school year, new crayons, new paper, new teachers. Boy, that's an exciting, exciting day some of you have in store for you tomorrow. Oh, Benny, no, no, no. Uh, this morning, I want to talk to you about a president. Now, we've had 45 presidents here in the United States. I want to talk to you about a president who was the president over a hundred years ago. His name was Theodore Roosevelt, but most people call him Teddy. So most people know him as Teddy Roosevelt, and he was a really, really interesting man. Um, in fact, Teddy Roosevelt was the president from 1901 to 1909, the 26th president of the United States, over 100 years ago. But he wasn't a typical president, um, because before he was the president, he did all kinds of things. In fact, he, he fought in the army. Um, some other things was he was a rancher for a while. Um, he was a soldier. He liked to, he was a very good writer. Um, on top of that, he was also the police commissioner, meaning he was in charge of the police force in New York City. Um, but when Teddy was a younger man, he bought some land in a state called North Dakota. And North Dakota was the prairies. And Teddy loved to be in North Dakota because he could be out on the range and he had a lot of cattle out there and he could ride his horse and he just loved North Dakota. Well, one day, Teddy and a man he was working with, a ranch hand, were going around um, the range, were going around the property, and they saw on their neighbor's land was a stray calf. And all of a sudden, they thought that they'd better catch this stray calf. And so they did catch it, and they started to wrestle it to the ground, because back then, in order to, to say who the calf belonged to, you would put a brand on it. And the brand would tell you whose calf that cow belonged to. Well, back then, the rancher's code was that no matter whose land it was, on that land, if you found a cow or a calf or an animal, that that calf belonged to whoever owned that land. But the problem was they found it on their neighbor's land, Gregor Lane. Well, the ranch hand, along with Teddy, started to get out Teddy Roosevelt's brand because he thought that his boss would want to claim that calf for himself. All of a sudden, Teddy said, no, 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 what are you doing? This calf we didn't find on our own land, but we found it on our neighbor's land. We found it on Gregor's land. And all of a sudden, the helper was kind of confused. And the helper said, yeah, boss, but nobody will know the difference. Nobody will know um, that we didn't find this calf on our own land. All of a sudden, Teddy said, you know, you can go back, pack up your stuff, and go home. I don't want you to work for me anymore. And Teddy looked at the man and said, anybody who will steal for me will also steal from me. Anybody who will steal for me will also steal from me. Now, boys and girls, if you put your listening ears on a little bit, we're going to hear a, a parable that Jesus is going to tell in just a little bit. It's a lot like this story that happened in Teddy Roosevelt's life. But this story is about a different man who steals also from his box, and he gets caught stealing. <coughs> and at the end of the parable, Jesus tells us something that, you know, if we all really paid attention to, and we all took to heart, our lives would be a lot better. We'd have a lot better blessings in our life, and our world would be a lot better as well. Jesus tells us that those people who can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Those who can be trusted with very little can be trusted with much. Now, it's kind of hard, to, especially when you're little, to understand what Jesus is trying to say. But what he's trying to say is that Sometimes we, we want to cheat, or we want to take something. Um, there might be cookies out in school, and you're walking by this big bowl of cookies, and you might think, well, I'll just take one little, little cookie. You know, it won't be that big of a harm. And I want you to remember this from Jesus, that we're called to 
be honest. We're called to be truthful. We're called to do the right thing every time, no matter how big, no matter how small. Let's say our prayer for this morning. Bella, do you want to pray for us this morning? Does that sound like you something you want to do this morning? No? Say it. Hey, why don't you pray for us this morning? Excuse me. If everybody could fold their hands, close their eyes, and bow their heads as we pray. Sammy, say, dear God. Dear God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For this message. For this message. And help us to remember. Help us to remember. What Jesus taught. What Jesus taught. About being honest. About being honest. And help us. And help us. To be honest too. Help us be honest too. In the big things. In the big things. And the small. And the small. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.